Besides concentration, write down two conditions needed for the hydrogen half cell to function under standard conditions. In total, we have three standard conditions. One being concentration at one mole per decimeter cube. 1.1, 1 .1, we're looking for the other two standard conditions. Uh, that is pressure. Pressure is one of our standard conditions at 101.3 kilopixels. Another standard condition we have is the temperature at 298 kelvins or 25 degree Celsius. That is the answer to 1.1. Let's go ahead and take a look at 1.2. Give two reasons besides being a solid why platinum is suitable to be used as an electrode in the above cell. So as you can see here, where there is hydrogen gas, platinum is used as an electrode. Let's talk about why that is so. Hydrogen gas, as the name says, hydrogen gas. So it is a gas and we need our electrode to be a solid. But apart from platinum being a solid, what other properties does it possess? Platinum does not react with H+. So that is one of the reasons why it is being used as an electrode. And another reason is that platinum is a conductor. Platinum is a conductor. At 1.3, uh, we're supposed to write down the name of component Q. This is a galvanic cell and component Q should be a salt bridge. So there we go. We have a salt bridge in 1.3.1 and 1.3.2. What is the standard reduction potential of the X half cell? Right, this is for one mark. And when you are familiar with this kind of questions, you're going to be able to answer it without any difficulties. But here we sort of have to take the long road so I can show you what is happening. Let's look at the information we have. We are told that the initial EMF that is registered is 0.31 volts. So the EMF of our cell initially is 0.31 volts. Right, now let's look at our setup. This is the positive electrode and this is the negative. In a galvanic cell, the positive is the cathode and the negative is the anode node so what are we saying we're saying that uh, the potential of our cell can be determined by saying uh, the potential at the cathode minus the potential at the anode so what is the potential of the cell this is 0 0.31 being equals to the potential at the cathode the potential at the cathode is the potential of the hydrogen Yes, as we can clearly see, that it is at the positive terminal. So we're going to have zero. If you look at your table for standard reduction potentials, uh, the potential of hydrogen gas is zero. Minus the potential at the anode. So minus the potential at the anode, uh, which happens to be X. If you go ahead and find the reduction potential of X, you're going to realize that it is equal to minus 0.0. 31 volts so this is the answer it is for one mark because it is easy to see without doing any calculation but if you are not familiar with galvanic cells and the emf of a cell this is how we get to the answer right 1.3.3 the half reaction that takes place at the cathode the cathode is the positive terminal on our galvanic cell. So we have the hydrogen gas. The basics at the cathode is where reduction occurs. What is the reduction? Reduction is the gaining of electrons. So we're gonna have two H plus plus two electrons to give us hydrogen gas. This is the equation you find on your table of standard reduction potentials. If this was the anode, then we would write the equation in the following way. We would have hydrogen gas uh, giving us 2H plus plus 2 electron. If it was at the anode, if it is the cathode, if it is at the cathode and the reduction is taking place, then this is our equation. 
right? I'm just doing that for the sake of clarity when you have uh, a question which requires the half reaction at the unknown. 1.4.1. The hydrogen half cell is now replaced with an MM2 plus half cell. The cell notation of this cell is, <coughs> and we're given the cell notation, and we're given the cell notation of the cell. Okay, well, this is our anode and this is our cathode. Uh, what is the initial reading on the voltmeter? It is given as 2.05 volts. And the first question, identify metal M. Show how you arrived at the answer. What information do we have? We know that the initial EMF of the cell is 2.05. We also have the reduction potential of X. We calculated it in 1.3.2. That is minus 0.31. We're trying to identify metal M. If we find the reduction potential of metal M, then we're going to be able to go to our standard reduction potential table and see which one it is with ease. So the potential of M is what we are interested in. So what can we say now? We can say that the reduction potential, not the reduction potential, but the EMF of our cell is equal to the reduction potential at the cathode minus the reduction potential at the anode. So the reduction potential of the cell, 2.05. Uh, that at the cathode, at the cathode we have X. So that is going to be minus 0 0.31 minus the reduction potential at the anode. So we take in minus 0 0.31 to the left hand side. We're going to have 2.36 being equal to minus the potential at the anode. If we divide both sides by minus 1, the potential at the anode will be equal to minus 2.36 volts if we go to our table of standard reduction potentials at the anode we have magnesium or mg that is our answer to 1.4.1 1.4.2 is the cell reaction exothermic or endothermic in a galvanic cell the reaction will always be exothermic right 1.5 the reading on the voltmeter becomes zero after using this cell for several hours. Give a reason for this reading by referring to the cell reaction. Well, the cell reaction reaches equilibrium. That is why the reading on the voltmeter becomes zero after some time.